Howdy friends! Today I'm going to talk about how to enlarge an image in WordPress, which can mean a bunch of different things, and we'll talk about that as well. I'm going to focus on this image of an espresso machine uh, that I uploaded to this website, and we can talk about what that means. I'm going to start by editing the post. I am using the Gutenberg or uh, block-based WordPress editor, so if you're on an older version of WordPress, you might expect this to look a little differently. Um, so I'm going to come down here. And this is the image we were looking at. And so the first way I can enlarge an image in WordPress is simply to make it bigger. Um, and that is pretty simple. I can, for example, this image was uh, uploaded to our media library as a fairly big image. Um, so what I can do is just enlarge by dragging or enlarge by clicking one of these buttons in the sidebar to see its different sizes. So it's not a huge image, it's only 545 by 740 at 100%, and I had it at something like 50%, and if I just drag or if I click one of these buttons, it'll scale it for me. That's what WordPress is doing. Now if I switch to the full size image and 100%, you're seeing this image size, by default WordPress will create a few image sizes for me, thumbnail, medium, or full. And if I pick those, those are auto-cropped images from WordPress. You'll notice that when I selected the medium one, it got blurrier here. And if I select the thumbnail, it will get even more blurry. And that's because at this size, I have stretched out the image within the post. So if I want to get it as big as possible, I want to upload the biggest file I can. And at this point, I've already committed to this 740 by 545 image. And then I want to scale it to a reasonable size by either dragging on its side or doing this here. Now the other th part of this that's worth knowing about is that what happens when uh, when that email when that image is clicked on. By default you'll notice nothing happened. Let me get the preview going in a new tab just so we're all on the same page. So by default as I had it set up, nothing happens when I click on that image. Because that image is just there as like flavor to this post, that's why I did that. But if I want to make it so that when someone clicks on that image, they see a bigger version, I could update it after having clicked this link and selecting the media file. If I undo that and do it again, you'll notice I clicked the link and then I clicked media file. That's the way I most often uh, add uh, an ability to see an image bigger to a WordPress website. And so when I click that, someone is taken to their browser just visits just that image. Um, and so that works too, that shows me the bigger image. The last part of seeing a bigger image that you might want to do is that they're able to see the original size of that image, but you want them to actually see it over top of your page rather than navigating to a new page. And the thing to know about that I'm going to keep this post the same and I'm going to go back to my WordPress admin area and I'm going to install a plugin. All right, so to accomplish this, I'm going to look for a Lightbox plugin. There are a bunch of these and they work in subtly different ways. The one I've tried and had good success with is called Simple Lightbox. So I'm going to quickly install and activate that plugin, a process that you might be used to. And the way most of these have worked when I use them and the way this one works is that if, as I did with this one, I link to the hard image, if I refresh that page after installing and activating the plugin, what I'll see is that when I click this image now, I get this pop-up on the page. So they haven't left the page they came to, but they have this nice little pop-up that shows just that image. If I go to a different post on my website where I hadn't hard linked that image, let's see, I think, I think this one had some images in it. Where I haven't linked to that image, it doesn't light box. Um, so if I come in and edit that post again, just to show this off, if I want people to be able to see that image bigger, I need to edit the post such that it links to the media file. If I save that change and now go view the post, now when I click that, the simple Lightbox plugin makes it come into a Lightbox. Now in this case, the image was basically the size you see it in that article, so the Lightbox is pretty silly. But that is kind of what you get if you want to show people that image off inside of your web page. So again, what I used in this case is the simple Lightbox plugin. There are tons of other options. Lightbox is that terminology you want to think about, you want to Google for, you want to look in that search term for. 
So that is one of the other meanings and a common meaning of how you would enlarge an image in WordPress. So we covered how to just drag the size around inside of the editor, but also how to link to that image and use a Lightbox plugin to let people see that image blown up over top of your article like we're doing right here. All right, with that, cheers and thank you.